Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from February 16th through the 22nd. Um, so I've already taken the liberty of pulling the cards. Um, I want to thank those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Um, let's jump into it. Okay, so Capricorn, you have a really straightforward reading for some of you. Um, you may be the other woman or the other man that this is a woman in a relationship that you've been keeping up with for a while maybe with an older gentleman we have the emperor here you've been keeping quiet too and you know some things about them and you know you've read them very well could be a Pisces, could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, Aries. It could be anyone. Some of you sorry guys, my Uber Eats just got delivered. Um, okay. For some of you, this is a situation of this been going on for a long time. This could be seven years. Seven months. I really feel like it's seven years. This person has been walking away from their already committed connection for a very long time. You've known about it. You've, you've known that they have the other person. You you might have just stayed in it to get whatever you can get out of this situation also. As the other person was doing too. You know, the exchange, money, sex, whatever. Some of you have a secret plan in regards to a particular relationship of maybe how you're going to end it which you know what, what you're going to do in, in regards to ending this relationship because someone is keeping their own secrets keeping their own plans you've read someone very well like you know what they're about it could be an Aquarius person could be a Pisces the advice this week is for you to abandon ship and it looks like you will or if it's not you abandoning ship, someone is returning. Everyone's beginning the Eight of Cups, but we are going to have that Mercury retrograde where, you know, things come back, people come back. Just know what it is, you know. Um, this person may return to you and they may give you the sweet nothings, but you already know why they're coming back toward you. They, the the Eights govern sex and intimacy and mergers and things of those natures. They may even have a little bit of money that they want to spend with you or on you, um, but they don't really have an offer for you. Um, they're still married. They're still older. They're still, you know, set in their ways. They still have their own regime that they, they hold, you know, fortitude to. They have their own life and they want you a part of it in a very insignificant way. This person returning to you brings you to a level of anxiety. It says let it in. You have the death card as the outcome, the possible outcome for the week. You feel like, or they feel like, or both of you feel like you're losing something of value here. Now, value systems are different. They may feel like they're losing you and you're valuable because you provide what they don't get elsewhere. You may feel like you, you're losing them or this is a lost cause. Um, and they may provide that protection, that shield, money of some sort. Now, they don't do it on a consistent and everyday basis, but they do provide something for you or to you. And that's why the both of you feel like you're losing something. 
and that's why it's taking so long for it to die death the death card the death not dead card the dead card is the death so it's the the act of dying dying so this has been taken so long you you guys know that nothing more nothing less can come of this you may want more capricorn and the other person can't give it to you or vice versa you can't give that to them but yet and still there's a piece of the both of you still holding on the advice capricorn is to walk away or if you allow someone back to come back toward you set your own rules set your own boundaries your own um this is your empire you don't let them come in and do what they want to do and operate how they want to operate you set the rules and the regulations for them and if they want to play ball they can play ball if they don't they can get lost too that's what these cards say and if you don't do that they're going to bring you to a level of anxiety or if you're not that type of person and you allow this person to come back they bring you to a level of anxiety sleepless restless nights anxious thoughts and you know just the negativity in your thought pattern let's see if the shells have to yeah we, well we have the moon at the bottom of the deck I mean you both are alike in a way you both want the same thing uh, companionship love you may even get along very well but you both are looking so the most of times it's about two individuals two people who want the same thing but they go about life in two different manners but you still want the same end result right um it's about the challenge of coming together and actually accepting each other for the difference and going after that same result that you want now that's up to you if you want to do that um also this is about someone having some real strong feelings someone holding back and not speaking and not saying also let's see what the shelf has to say okay um father okay this could be the father of your children divorce yeah marriage did not say it thoughts yep negative thoughts and friends okay so um this person could be married they could be a father they're a little bit older they're coming up as the emperor um you could be asking about a divorce from the marriage uh, this person just takes you to a place of negative thinking they have you questioning your your value your self-worth they have you questioning yourself but yet and still you you still engage for whatever reason however you rationalize that um friends i don't know what friends what friends are here for i'll pull a card for it but fr maybe friends are giving you some better advice in regards to what you should do about this particular person or maybe you should open up to a friend if you're keeping yeah nine of pentacles they're telling you look you're valuable as shit you are the valuable one this other person is stuck in a dead end situation and they want to bring you into that no friend you're valuable let this in be single be great be above this um someone new will come for you if you allow release to this maybe this is what friends are saying they're telling you you are the nine of pentacles okay um capricorn i hope you have a really good week um if you feel like the, the reading resonated for you with you go over to the website book your own reading there um, all information is below um or you can text a question or two to the number below um you can pay for your question receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device take advantage of that if that is for you um use coupon codes below thank you take care have a really good week capricorn